Hey guys, what's going on? Paul here and welcome back to another Cardano video. If you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you never miss an update as what we do here is 100% Cardano content. So if you're into Cardano at all, then this is the channel for you. So what we're going to look at today is the huge moves that we have seen in the Cardano, the ADA price over the last 24 hours. I'm going to talk about key levels that I see in the markets and what I would personally like to see to give us sustainable growth at this time. And then we're going to talk a bit about what's coming in February because it's not all about price right now for Cardano. If you're coming in new, you may be looking at the price, but you need to look beyond that and look at what is happening right now in the Cardano ecosystem for the long term. We have the Mary Hard Fork coming, which brings native assets on chain this month. Also the ERC20 converter, which doesn't get mentioned enough. I'm going to talk a little bit around that and what I see it doing for the future of Cardano. So if that is the type of content you like, please do give the video a share. Don't forget to hit the like button and leave a comment down below. They really do help the channel and uh, let's jump in. Okay, and just before we jump into the charts, for anyone who wants to support, help support the channel, delegating to the Cardano stake pool poll is a really good way to do that. I really do appreciate that, as well as all the likes and shares of the video. So jumping into the Bitcoin chart first, we're not gonna spend long on this as I do want to focus on Cardano for this. But again, Bitcoin is a big driver in the price of all other cryptocurrencies. So looking here, we're on a four hour chart. So what we have down here is, Let's call this the Elon pump right here. So this is when Elon Musk added Bitcoin to his Twitter profile. We've seen this huge green candle and then we had the retracement all the way, nearly all the way back down, basically all the way back down, I suppose, to the 32,000 level. We have found support here, which is good to see. We are building our base here to make the next leg up. So right now, $35,000 is a level I have mentioned before as being a point where a lot of people will start to go bullish on Bitcoin again, because once we get back over this, we start to move back into the uptrends that we were previously in. Overall though, Bitcoin is in a good state of play. This was the downtrend that we we're in. Elon helped us break it briefly. Now, today's candles look really good. So holding above this today is very positive for Bitcoin and I'd be very positive on the outlook for Bitcoin over the coming week. Now on to ADA, what you guys came for. So ADA USD will start on. People who've watched my videos for a while will know that I generally focus a lot on the ADA BTC price, which is the ADA price against Bitcoin. And the reason for that is because I want to see ADA outperforming Bitcoin all the time. So Bitcoin generally sets the standard for the price movements, but today we're going to start with ADA USD because we've broken a significant price level over the last 24 hours and that is the 41 cent level, which previously has been a resistance level that we struggled to get above. So you can see yesterday when we got the huge moves upwards here, we went right up and then we got rejected and came back down, back down through that 41 cent level again, we regrouped and back up. Currently, we're testing this level right now. So <clears throat> personally, what I would like to see is that we build a bit of support around this level before moving up and even when we do move up then, if we move up to the 44 cent region over today, tomorrow, whatever it is, that we do come back down again and retest this 41 cent level, or maybe not even come fully down to it, come back down to the 42 cent level before going up again, because a healthy market needs to have pullbacks. If these candles here, these big green candles had to continue yesterday, I'd be very worried about the moves currently in the price. But because we came back down and found a bit of support here, that makes me a lot happier with these types of price movements. So this is what I'm looking to see here, that if we do move up to the 44 cent later today or tomorrow or whatever point it is, that we come back down again and hold above this 41 and a half cent mark. Then that really gives us a big base to springboard us back up again, aiming for that 50 cent mark, which would be the next target. Let's just reset this chart and zoom out a bit. So as you can see here, this is what the overall price looks like. For anyone new, this here was the crazy 2017, early 2018 
price movements. This here was May 2018, which is the level that we are at right now. This is where we had the huge crash after the 2017 bull run, and we tried to get back up out of it, and we got stuck at that 41 and a half cent level. So that's the region we're at right now, and that's why I say it's a significant price level that we want to see us pushing back above. Now looking at the ADA BTC chart, which is the one that you guys will have seen me post a lot. And this level right here, 982 sats, is one that I have mentioned so many times now. I'm sure everyone's sick of hearing about it, but it has held very, very strong. Even a few days ago when we got the dips here, we dipped down below it a bit and straight back above it again. So to me now, this 982 is a very, very solid support level. And it really is allowing us to push upwards with some really nice momentum. So back here is where we started. This was the beginning of the year, early January, where we started this really bullish move. So we fell out of it then around the 27th of January, but the moves yesterday have pushed us back into this bullish trend again. How this finishes out today is going to be very interesting. This chart here is healthy to me. Moving up, pulling back, getting your consolidation, Moving up again, again, getting consolidation, trending sideways, building momentum, and then moving up. So again, maybe we stop around here and we trend sideways a bit before moving up again. But that is the dynamics of a healthy market. Okay, let's talk a little bit about what's coming in February then for Cardano outside of price. Because look, long term, if we want these types of prices and these price movements to be sustainable, then it has to be backed up by what the technology is bringing out. And I really do think we are only getting started with Cardano. So as you can see here, this is the timeline for what's happening in February. I mentioned it, I can't remember was it was in my live stream last Friday or was it in a video, but we're gonna talk through it here anyway. So going live on the Cardano testnet, we have native assets are now in the testnet. They will be going on to the main net. It's tentatively set for the 22nd of February. Now this is a very big deal for Cardano and the future of Cardano. This means that people can create their own tokens, their own coins on the Cardano blockchain. So this is very similar to people creating ERC20 tokens on Ethereum. So they're not done the exact same way, but for people at a high level, that is what it is the equivalent of. Now Cardano really do have a huge development coming as well the ERC20 converter. So this is going on to the testnet in February as well. And to me, this is something that can really unlock huge potential adoption for Cardano. And it doesn't get the airtime I suppose that it deserves for what it can potentially do. With the ERC20 converter, any project that currently has an ERC20 token will be able to convert that directly over to an asset on the Cardano blockchain. Once this is out and running smoothly, then this will be a huge gateway for adoption on the Cardano blockchain. We all see what's going on with Ethereum. The fees are huge at the minute. Lots of projects cannot grow using the current infrastructure with Ethereum. Ethereum are working on it and they're working on Ethereum 2.0, but that will be too late for some of the projects that are on there now. They need solutions now and Cardano is looking to bring them solutions out. So for me, it's great to see the short term price movements within the markets, but I am extremely bullish long term on where this is going. Anyone who's been following the channel knows that I'm not going anywhere now. Even if we get these big pumps and drops within the Cardano project, I'm going to be holding on strong and just accumulating more and more as we go because I see the long-term vision of where this is going. So if you guys got some value, please do give the video a like, give it a share as well if you think that this is useful for others and let me know in the comments below what you would like to see. Tomorrow's video is going to look at the future rewards potential of Cardano staking. If you're not staking your Cardano, get your Cardano off the exchanges into the official Cardano wallets and then start staking, which gives around 5% returns a year. I've got videos on that. I'll leave links below to the tutorials and everything you need for that. And I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe and the notifications. Thanks guys. See you soon.